Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how to create a rubric for an assignment. So in my assignment, uh, this is the purpose. This is what I need them to do. So <clears throat> please note, this is just something that I made up just so I can illustrate what we're going to do. So I've created that assignment. I've done my editing over here and added some things and changed. I've said it's worth 40 points because let's assume that I know my rubric is going to be worth 40 points. So you'll notice this button down here and you can add a rubric. And what this then allows you to do is you can either find a rubric if you've created one uh, before or you can create one. So let's just create one. We're going to call this testing rubric or illustration rubric, whatever you want to call it. So you have criteria and you have ratings and your criteria you can edit. You can add as many as you want. Um, so let's just add a second one and I'm going to say new criterion and I'm going to call this writing organization and I can put a description here as a beginning, a middle, and an end and I can create that. And then this one I also want to relabel because I don't like Canvas's description and I'm going to call it writing ideas and this is interesting and informative okay so you can describe however you want it this is helpful for the students because then they know what it is that you're looking for all right and so you'll notice that here i have to decide how many points and i'm going to say this one is worth 20 and this one is worth 20 and i'm going to go two criteria again you can have as many as you want and you'll notice here you've got the option to select a range. So I'm going to select a range here and I'm going to select the range here. And for this first one, I'm going to edit it and I'm going to say my range is going to go from 12 to 15. And I'm going to call this distinguished. And you can put a description here of what you mean by distinguished. And I don't want to go from 20 to 15 and 15 to 0. I want another option. So I'm going to hit this plus sign. And I'm going to go from 15 to, let's say, 12. And I'm going to say this is proficient. And again, I can put a description here. And I'm going to update that rating. So I'm going to go down here to my second one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go 20 to 15. And I'm going to call this distinguished. And I'm going to update my rating. And I'm going to add a second rating. And I'm going to go 15 through 12 and I'm going to call this proficient and you can put in your description and update my rating and then 12 to 0 or 0 to 12 so here now is my rubric all right and so you can, again can add as many criteria as you want and as many ratings as you want I've got a total of 40 points so down here you have some options and so what you want to do is you want to select use this rubric for assignment grading so that way when the student goes to the assignment they can see the rubric and you can also use that rubric as um, you know you can it'll automatically put the points that you assign to that rubric into the grade center so you don't have to do that separately and you're going to click create rubric all right, so now this rubric is available for the students and also for you as an individual to grade.